The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello YouTube. Well, I'm doing this again, showing you the birth certificate. The reason behind that, you're going to find out here real soon. I want you to read these documents. Uh, I'm vindicating myself here. Um, they had a, a hearing here recently, and it looks like the administration admits that Obama's long-form birth certificate that they have put out for the people to believe in is for real. It's really, in fact, a fraud, a fake. We all knew it was a fake. I knew it was a fake. And a bunch of others did. But the ones of you that didn't, this is very important for you to read. Very important for you to read indeed. I'm going to take all of the links to all of the stuff that I found since a friend of mine sent this to me. I'm trying to put this together for y'all and I hope that you all like it. Uh, there's a couple of videos coming up, clips to videos, the whole video is not here, just a part of it. I'm going to put them on the blog, the whole video, their video, not mine, their video. So everybody is being pushed here with this information. This is great information that needs to get out to everybody out there. And if anybody else has any more videos or stuff that goes along with this, please send it to me so I can send it out. And listen to this clip, and I'll be back in a moment after they, they get through. This is getting, but then at the same time, with keeping the first little paragraph of words I spoke to you in mind, and this is off of the examiner.com. Many of you may have seen this, and there's a lot more going on, as you well know. But this is the latest that I'm paying attention to, and it bears repeating. Obama, officially ineligible, and this is April 18th. Um, this is off of the examiner.com by Jeffrey Phelps, Denver Conspiracy Examiner. And a crushing situation is emerging for not only Barack Obama, but the American people, as landmark st statement has been made by the Obama administration that is going to turn the 2012 presidential race potentially and much more on its head. Lawyers representing the current sitting pres uh, have been forced under penalty of perjury to admit that the long-form certificate presented by the White House in April of 2011 is a total forgery. In a New Jersey ballot access eligibility case spawned by Tea Party activists, Attorneys representing Obama had to admit the document presented to the people by Obama himself is actually knowingly faked and was used to fool the American public into believing a complete fabrication. States can do as they please and to hell with the Constitution. Hill agreed during the trial that there was absolutely no evidence before the court as to who Obama is or where he was born, including excluding from evidence the internet image of Obama's alleged certificate of live birth he released on April 27, 2011. He referred to Judge Misson in response to a direct question from the bench that Obama's birth certificate had never been presented to the New Jersey Secretary of State to establish his eligibility and he affirmed that the Obama re-election campaign had no intention of doing so. In spite of this bombshell admission, no mainstream news outlet has covered what happened at the trial and Judge Jeff Mason blocked the case and basically told the plaintiffs that it is now up to the New Jersey Secretary of State to decide the issue of Obama's eligibility. Boy, talk about judicial courage. This, of course, creates an unprecedented constitutional crisis. Every piece of legislation and every executive... Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the little clips to uh, two different videos and I will post them on the blog um, it's just uh, just a short clip of each one 
they're a whole lot longer I didn't want to make this a real real long video uh, someone suggested that I make them too long so I'm gonna try to keep it down a little bit but if I see when I get close to the end and I'm not through talking I'm gonna have to make it longer I'm sorry but I gotta vent a little bit here I feel vindicated vindicated here this right here is the biggest breaking news that I could have because I've been the one pushing on my channel the most of anybody about his birth certificate being fake out of several of my friends and they all know that and I hope they help me push this to extreme levels of being viral uh, because this this is vindication for me I knew it was fake I knew it in my heart it was fake I knew that it was fake it's hard to convince people when you got mainstream people mainstream news out there telling you that you're a, a moron an idiot a complete jerk like uh, Bill O'Reilly and and on and on and on I could just keep naming but I don't feel like it I don't want to it's just I told you so you worthless pieces of shit how about that? Uh, that that's good vindication right there but people this is a call to all military all police officers all judges lawyers this is a call for our Constitution right now this is the only time that we can bring back our Constitution or lose it completely lose it people where you have no Constitution you have no Bill of Rights you have Obama bill because you've gotten Obama bills Obama bills Obama bills you have no free speech you have no you you have no privacy you have uh, no Fourth Amendment uh, you have no fifth eleventh you don't have no amendments left people if you don't fight now you will never fight for anything in the rest of your life if you don't push this message right now these messages these words that are coming off and that I'm gonna put on the blog so you can all read every link that's on every one will be there if you don't go and read all of this information for yourself then you don't love your country you don't love yourself you don't love your children or care anything about your children you don't care nothing about anybody else's children you don't care about Obama you don't care about anybody but whatever is in your hand and whatever you want to do at that moment but that's all coming to an end too people if he gets away with what he's done right here then people you are in serious serious denial if he gets away with this you will be a slave 100 percent if not even more you are already a slave but you're going to be so far a slave that you're going to be begging to have gasoline just to go to the, down the street to make a dollar to feed your family and, and be willing to walk home just to do so so people please please pay attention my other video that's talking to you about the constitution has got tells you the difference between with democracy and republic uh, it's an awesome video it tells you about the, the, the Constitution it tells you about the Bill of Rights uh, it's got the Constitution's being read to you so go to it I will post it on this link as well so please people please God get this information out get it to Alex Jones I will send it but you know how that goes it don't get there all the time right off the bat he needs to get this information too he may not have it I ain't seen no post on it yet so he needs the information as well 
This information needs to go out so everybody can read it. Um, this is, this is, this, you just don't know how big this is, people. This is huge. This is huge. It is the biggest fraud situation that a president has ever done. Do you remember Nixon? He got put away for Watergate. Look at here, people. This is bigger than Watergate ever thought about being. This is off the chart compared to that. Hell, he's done done Watergate. Obama's done done a Watergate himself. With the, the Obamacare. That's against the Constitution. Wake up, people. Wake up and get this damn message out. This is the biggest news that's ever come across, and it was not on mainstream news. I have not seen it nowhere in the news, and this stuff should go viral. People, this should go viral. Instead of that Coney 2012 that was on my TV on my local channel where people in my local town here is doing posters and flyers and all kinds of crazy crap out on the street. They have no idea, no idea about this. None. They have no idea that Coney 2012 was fake too. Please, people, get this damn information out. It is the most important thing that you've ever done in your life. If you don't push this for me, push it for yourself and push it for the other people that's going to be on my blog. Push this damn information. It's got to go out. you got to get this information to everybody you know. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened to our country. Everything he's ever passed or every law he's ever done, we can take back because everything he's done is illegal. They're not real. He needs to go because he is not real. He is a fake, people. I've been telling you he's a fake. He is a fake. He is a total fake, a total fraud. And any judge, lawyer, police officer, military, anyone that's took an oath, push this message. It's beneficial to you. God bless and heads up.